Snappers, this is Jordan with Gray. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Crystal Wedlock Heptathlon Season 2. Today, we are actually going to be mainly doing a, uh, a team building episode. Now, obviously, our team, as you guys can see in the sidebar and see here, our team is not in any kind of dire straits at all. Like, we haven't lost anybody. Um, well, we've, we've lost several people. I guess we lost the uh, Whenever you're in Lancelot, that's not really what I meant to say, but it's not like we I had some devastating grinding issue or something between episodes, but we do have access, especially now uh, that we've defeated Morty's gym, um, and basically just gotten to this area of the game that we have access to a lot of Pokemon, uh, and I figure uh, we might as well just knock them all out in one day. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start here today um, at the theater doing the uh, Kimono Girl Challenge. Um, I've got <clears throat> Fiber and Luna up front. Because we didn't see a lot of them last episode. We uh, evolved um, Napoleon and Josephine, and then we used Romeo and Juliet in the gym. Um, okay, so we've got a Flareon here. Oh, just level 17. That'll work. I'll throw the Thunder Wave up. Um, but we didn't get to see Fiber and Luna a whole lot, so we're going to be uh, we're gonna be using them uh, today. All right, that looked good. Let's throw the Thunder Punch up. I did go by... Um, I went and bought the Thunder Punch TM um from the uh from this store we had enough money and a uh, thunder punch i think it was like 75 base power and thunder shock was only 40 so i went ahead and bought it um i had the money and i figured i'd why not right so uh went ahead and got that on fiber we took out flareon lady um not sure why flareon lady's not wearing the red kimono but we're not gonna we're not gonna get into that too much is this vaporeon or is she wearing the wrong kimono no it's espion all right, Fiverr, let's uh, let's throw up a double team this time. Very good, evasion went up. Ha ha! All right, let's throw up a Thunder Punch on the Espeon, see how that does. Oh yeah, looking good. Espeon hits us with a tackle, but Fiverr should be able to finish it off in two hits. Fantastic. So by completing the EV challenge here today, uh, Evolutions Kimono Girl Challenge or whatever, uh, we will be able to use the, uh, well, we will be getting the HM Surf, uh, and that'll allow us to go get uh, one of the Pokemon that I held off on going into an area for previously in the series. Um, and we're all, ooh, Umbreon. Hopefully getting one of the, well, we're not going to get an Umbreon today. Um, but, um, hopefully getting a, uh, uh, getting our Eevee. We're also going to head down to Goldenrod. We're going to pick up the Eevee. We're going to hatch both of our eggs because, again, why not? Let's, we've got them. Let's just get them hatched. Um, and then I'm going to, we're going to, so I think that we got two eggs. We've got the Eevee and then... Um, I want to go, once we get the Surf uh, HM here, man, we got, uh, this is why I want an Umbreon, they're so bulky. Here we go, uh, down goes Umbreon. Um, once we get, um, the Surf, we'll be able to go back to the Ruins of Alf, uh, via the Union Cave, and Todd the Camper. Hello, this is Todd, Tor, what are you doing? This is Bob Boy for Golden Art Department Stores, bargain sale is on now. What's cheap, what's this? Alright, last time he, he called me and said that I went there and I didn't see any, oh my gosh, Todd, I don't need a freaking, you know, year-long speech about it. Um, last time you went there, I didn't really see a whole lot of sales, so I'm not sure what that, what's supposed to go on sale and what's not. Uh, let's see. Um, let's switch. Fight. We're probably coming up on the Vaporeon here, but we're going to go ahead and just switch, because why not? Um, we'll let Luna have some screen time as well. Um, but yeah, so uh, in the Ruins of Alf, we, through, via the Union Cave, um, now that we have Surf, we have access to an area where we have a 90% chance of getting a Natu, which is a Pokemon I've never really used. Um, the first time I ever used Natu was, um, ooh, Vaporeon, avoiding uh, this thing here. There we go. Uh, first time I ever really used Natu at all was during the uh, Little Cup Federation, and you guys uh, in my Discord suggested I draft it uh, in that. And that was really my first exposure to it ever. I've never used it in game. I've really that was my first exposure using it out of game even. even. So, um, but it, it's an interesting Pokemon, and it's uh, again since it's one I've never really used before. I don't know how frequently they show up in Nuzlocke. I figured we'd we'd save uh, as opposed to getting a useless unknown. We'd save that area and, and pick up a a Natu when the time comes. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna we're gonna try to accomplish that today. Hatch the eggs. Um, we're gonna kind of be all over the place. Gonna kind of be all over the place. There might be some cuts and things like that, just because like. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of different areas of the map to hit, uh, and we've got, um, 
you know, just a lot of, you know, we got eggs to hatch, I think it's like, it's probably cut out most of the just jogging back and forth to hatch the eggs. Um, and then, uh, we're gonna have, what, so we're gonna have four new Pokemon by the end of the episode. Uh, we caught a couple of Pokemon in the last several episodes as well. Luna's trying to learn Double Slap. Um, let's see what Luna's got. Headbutt, sing, roll on, ice form. Actually, I'm okay. Uh, Luna did not learn Double Slap. Um, but uh, we've got a lot of single Pokemon, and if you guys, we'll, we'll list them all off at the end here. Okay, so we beat all of them. I think I talked to this guy, maybe? Not only are the Kimono Girls great dancers, they're also skilled at Pokemon. I always challenge them, but I've never even left a scratch. But the way he battled was like watching a dance. It was a rare treat to see. I want you to have this. Don't worry, take it. All right, so there we go. We get Surf from this guy. That's Surf. Great. What is this? Oh, it's a Rhydon. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and quickly... I'm gonna teach Surf to... Oh, we do have Flash as well. Um, we're gonna need that today too, potentially. Uh, okay, so Romeo... Ooh, actually, I should probably teach it both Romeo and Napoleon. Because it's just a good move that both of those water types could potentially use. Uh, so there we go, we're gonna get rid of Water Gun. Romeo forgot Water Gun and learn Surf. Uh, and why not? Well, we're at it, we will go ahead and teach Napoleon Surf as well. More foods, you know, for surf. Yes. Uh, and again, water gun. Why not? Let's do it. All right. So Napoleon learns surf. Uh, flash. Anybody learn flash? I don't really want to teach anybody flash, but we're gonna kind of need it. Ooh, so many people can learn it. Um. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to give that some thought. I'm gonna have to give that some thought. Um. To get the Moonstone for Luna, we need to teach somebody Flash. I need to double check and see if there's a move deleter in this gen. I know there wasn't in the last one, uh, but well, well, uh, well, I figure that out. We, we'll just not evolve. We'll just, hmm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe in one of my cuts while I'm grinding the egg <laughs> to, to hatch, I'll double check on that. But first, we're gonna run back to Goldenrod, and uh, we are gonna go ahead and get um, our Eevee from Bill. Which will be exciting. Now Pidgey appeared. Um, he uh, he was toying with the time capsule, and a little Eevee came out. And he asked us to come stop by his house at some point. And, and when we stop by his house, he's gonna offer us an Eevee. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna go ahead and pop. Let's see, we'll pop. Uh, we'll see. Um, for the remainder of the day, let's go ahead and put Napoleon and. I need Josephine to get back out. Actually, I guess Fiber and Luna? So I, I want to use Juliet for catching, although the Mud Slap's not going to work. Let's put, we'll, we'll put Juliet and Romeo. We'll deposit them for now. Um, ooh, I don't know if we're in the right box for that. I should have... Yeah, no, we're in the wrong box for that. Either way, that they'll be fine for a minute. Um, all right, so now let's head over. I think Bill's house is this way. Um, and here? All right, yes, uh, this guy, he keeps, I keep, uh, uh, confusing him for silver. All right, Bill, I toured, do you as a favor and take care of this Eevee. It came over when I was adjusting the time capsule. Someone has to take care of it, but I don't like being outside. Can I count on you to play with it, Tort? Yeah! Bill, I knew you'd come through. Way to go, you're the real deal. Okay, I'm counting on you. Take good care of it. Tort received Eevee. All right, give me a to the Eevee you received. Okay, so this, oh, hello. Female Eevee. I was just gonna say this little dude. Um. Okay. Well. Uh huh. That changes kind of what I was thinking for nicknames, I guess. Um. Do -do 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 -do. Let me see here. You know what might be a good match? We've got Churchill the Onyx. It might be fun to have a Steelix Umbreon combo. My goal is to turn this thing into an Umbreon. Let's call this little lady. Little lady. All right. Um, let's go ahead and call. Clementine. One second. I gotta pull it up. All right. Uh, Clementine. All right. Uh, and it'll fit. So that works out nicely. Can't fit my own name for the trainer, but I can. I can fit Clementine for this little Evie. So there we go. Clementine, Bill. Professor Elm claims Eevee may have all been new and unknown ways. All right. Well, Clementine. Ooh, level 20. Nice. We don't have to do a ton of grinding with it either. 
Uh, so Clementine, uh, the Eevee, female Eevee. That's kind of exciting. We don't have a lot of females, so that opens up a lot of options uh, for, for, for potential pairings. We don't necessarily have to pair Clementine with Churchill. Um, I think, as I said, I'm going to try and leave... We're, with all the new Pokemon we're getting, I'd be curious to hear what you guys have ideas of in terms of, uh, of pairings. So, all right, so by first of all, we're going to drop this Eevee off. Port turn on the PC, Bill's PC. Uh, let's deposit... Uh, Clementine here. This is such a cute little sprite. All right, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be fun. All right. Um. Okay. Sounds good. So that's one Pokemon down. Uh, next one. Let's head. Do, 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 do. Let's head to the ruins of Alf, and we'll catch uh, the not two, and then we'll head further away. Uh, just kind of following the path. So we'll head to the ruins of Alf. Um, actually, no. Um. Next up's gonna be hatching uh, our Togepi. <clears throat> so I probably should have grabbed that thing out of the box, but we'll we'll worry about that when we get over to Violet City. We safely let's cut this. Perfect. All right. So I'm really excited. Female Eevee. I didn't because that's like a only a, like a 12% chance, right? I didn't anticipate that happening. Um, had a totally different, had a totally different name picked out for it. Uh, okay, but that's, that would be cool. That would be cool. Um, okay. Um, alrighty. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, yes. The Togepi. Or, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. We're going to hatch one egg here in Violet City, uh, and then we're going to hatch the other one in, um, we're going to hatch the other one in Cherry Grove, because neither of those places have we had any kind of encounter yet. Uh, and so, yeah, I will bring you guys back here in just a second. Alrighty, huh? Here we go, here we go. Boom, baby. Toby came out of its egg. Yes, um, all right. Let's name this little guy Felix. Why not? Felix, um, from Felix Fix It? From the movie Wreck-It Ralph is what I believe the original suggestion was from. We'll name him Felix. Here we go. All right. Now on to Cherry Grove to hatch the other one. <laughs> Actually, we can do Ruins of Alf first because that's more on the way. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll do that now. Get Felix put in the box here. As we see, put the storage system opened. Deposit. And then we'll put this little poke Togepi right in there. There we go. Alrighty, so heading down or heading east now. Let's head through here, and I think we just have to pop through the Union Cave here, and we don't even have to risk any unknown encounters. Uh, wait, Dark Cave? Is that where I wanted to be? I feel like that's where I wanted to be. Uh, give me one second here. Okay, I had the wrong place. <laughs> I watched a little video on where to find it and everything, uh, but I was confused on uh, on where I was supposed to be going. I started from the wrong town. It looked pretty much the same, but I started from Violet City as opposed to Azalea Town, which is where I need to start, because now we're in the Union Cave, and we need to go up <clears throat> and go down this ladder, and then we need to surf. Oop, I guess my repel wore out, huh? Guess I should have realized that when uh, we got hit by the first wild Pokemon. Let's throw up another repel here. Not that it matters for the catch; it's just uh, just annoying. And we don't need we don't need a repel for the catch, so that'll be fine. Uh, water's calm. We surf. We surf up here. Uh, we could battle that guy. We could battle this guy, but we have to battle this guy. So we'll battle this guy really quickly, uh, and then we will uh, get our little not to, and uh, and then I will uh, we'll head back to Cherry Grove and hatch our final. Uh, Final friend for the day. Um, okay, let's see. Hmm. Let's go ahead and sing it. It's gonna growl, which is gonna make this last longer than it needs to, unfortunately. That's okay. It's alright. 
Let's see what a headbutt does. If we need to switch into Fiber, we can. Oh yeah. Fiber, come on out, bud. Dracker gets fast asleep. Fantastic. Put the Thunder Punch. Looks a little bit better. Looks a little bit better. Alright. Fiber finish off the giraffe rig here. Giraffe rig is fast asleep. One more ought to do it. There we go. There we go. Alright, second Ethan was defeated. Perfect. Alrighty, so. Um let's see, for catching, let's put Josephine up. Right? Yeah, that should be fine. We'll put Josephine up and uh, let's see what our encounter here is. I think there's a 90% chance of not to. Maybe a uh, 90% 90% chance of not to? Oh, right, we had a rappel up. <laughs> I was like, why is there nothing in this grass? Although, other, there we go. There we go. And not to. Level 24 male. Ooh, okay, so I was worried about killing the thing, but apparently that's not a concern I needed to have. Um, let's with the sleep powder. Nightshade is ghost. It shouldn't be super effective. There it goes. It's asleep. Um, let's go ahead and cut. Okay, Nightshade is still asleep. Let's get it down a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Now, let's uh, throw out a Pokeball. So hopefully it's not going to be too stingy. Ooh, a little stingy, a little stingy. Uh, let's cut it one more time. Come on, Josephine, you got this. Don't crit, don't crit. Don't... <gasps> okay, she critted, but she left it alive. <laughs> I guess that works too. You know, true from a certain point of view. Beautiful. All right, Natu was caught. All right, um, Natu's data was duly added to the Pokedex. Natu, little bird. It is extremely good at climbing tree trunks and likes to eat the new sprouts on the trees. Give a nickname to Natu. Yes, obviously. Um, okay, now I didn't really pick out anything ahead of time. Uh, but let's see, what would be a good name? Let's put, actually this is this will be a good name for it. We're gonna name, well I don't know if it's a good name or not. I've actually never read this book, but we're gonna name Natu Odysseus. Oh, nope, I misspelled it already. Odysseus. Um. S S E U S. Alright. I think that'll be fun. And that there, alrighty. I will see you guys back in Cherry Grove City. Alrighty, here we are in Cherry Grove City. Um, we've got our final uh, new encounter for the uh, for the day. We've got our second egg, which is uh, wonder what's inside. It needs more time. Probably like the longest possible thing that it'll it'll take. But uh, let's uh, let's see. Can I get a good? Oh yeah, this will be good. This will be good. This will be a good long stretch through the city. Where I can... Oh no! Oh no! Dude, you're uh, well. There's a house there anyway. Anyway, <laughs> I will uh, we'll get this guy hatched. Um, at this one, I think this is the odd egg because the other one was the Togepi. Um, hoping for maybe like a probably a Magby or a Smoochum would be the best bets. Um, because well, we just caught a Natu, which will be a uh, a psychic type, obviously. Um, but we don't have a fire type. Well, no, we do. We do have a fire type. Well, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I don't really know or care what comes out of the thing now, because now we've got both a Psychic, uh, an Ice type would be fun, so Smoochum still could still be fun, it's a Pokemon I've not really used a whole lot. Um, I don't know. So many other things, like, I don't want to see Cleffa, I don't want to see Igglybuff, and I don't want to see Pichu, uh, mainly because Clefairy and Jigglypuff are pretty much interchangeable in this uh, at this point, uh, and we already have a Jigglypuff and a Pikachu. But, uh, and we don't really get the choice of dupes claws on that one. So, anyway, I'm going to finish grinding uh, the, this one out, and I will bring you guys all back in just a second. Alrighty, here we go. Here we go. Finally. Huh? 
Let's see, so many possibilities with this one, and it's a... Ooh, uh, uh, Tyro, is that a, is that a shiny Tyro? Tyro came out of its egg, give a nickname to Tyro. It is a male Tyro, um, and I said, I do, oh, hmm, huh, male Tyro will be Aragorn, why not? Now uh, let's go lowercase, okay, is that a, are Tyro usually blue? Maybe they are. I think it was usually red. Uh, era... Gore. I think that's right. Looks right to me. All right. End. So let's take a look. No, yeah, he does have the little shiny symbol up there. Okay. So there we go. We got a fighting type. Uh, so we got what, three males and a female today. All right. Let's take a look at all of our uh, all of our singles. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's deposit Aragorn here. Um, all right, so we have Morticia, Arwen. Uh, so females, we have Morticia, Arwen, um, Morticia, Arwen, and Clementine available. Uh, so we can potentially make three new couples. So that's exciting. Um, we don't necessarily need to assign all of these right now. Um, and then we've got new Aragorn, um, Odysseus. Felix, um, not Romeo and Juliet, we've got Beast, Link, Churchill, Gohan, Ekans, uh, er, Gomez, and, and then Arwen again. So, a lot of, this is a, this is a lot of cool Pokemon to use, potentially. Um, I'm gonna withdraw, uh, Romeo and Juliet to get them out of the, uh, the singles box here, but, uh, yeah. So, I guess basically, the question for today, um, out of all the Pokemon we have here, um, what kind of coupling should we make? Um, I, I'd love to have a rotating team. If this is a shiny, well, I guess we didn't use the shiny claw. Even if it is a shiny, we didn't use the shiny claws to get it. Uh, so we don't necessarily have to add it to a couple. Um, I was just gonna say, well, if it's a shiny, we gotta do it. But we didn't, we didn't use any kind of shiny claws for it. So, um, I'll have to look that up, though. I think it is, though. I think that's, I think that is. Uh, which is kind of cool. Which is kind of cool. What are the odds of that? So, uh, alright, so we got Aragorn. Uh, Odysseus, Felix, Clementine, Beast, Link, uh, Churchill, uh, Gohan, Gomez, Arwen, Morticia. So a lot of cool Pokemon to potentially add to the team. I'm going to leave that kind of up to you guys on what you guys would like to see. Would you like to see um, Odysseus and uh, Clementine put together? Would you like to see, you know, Link and, you know... <laughs> Arwen, I mean, whatever, whatever you guys would like to see. Um, I'm really open to uh, all kinds of combinations, so feel free in the comments down below to kind of sound off on that. I think that's going to be it for today, though, guys. Um, I've got a lot of a lot of hatching done, but I think we probably... Um, I had a lot... I mean, obviously, I recorded uh, just because I'm probably going to speed up the, the hatching back and forth. So I don't know how long this episode is going to actually end up being after editing, but I've got almost 40 minutes of footage. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for today. We will pick back up next time in Yurkatik City, um, where we will um, uh, maybe have a new couple with us, but uh, either way, we're going to be heading west uh, to Route 39, which I believe is one of our forfeited routes. Um, but we're going to battle some trainers uh, and uh, and see if we can't continue on uh, in this journey. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm in with the Great, and you guys have been great. Make sure those likes, comments, and subscriptions for me, guys, and be sure to let me know what kind of new couplings should we make with all of our fancy new singles. Uh, so yeah, uh, you guys, uh, yeah, I said all the things, so thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.